I kind of get the sense here that your team feels like you've got a little bit of your mojo back without obviously Joe Burrow. What do what do you what do you say about that right now? Yeah, man, I think um I think the vibe's definitely been high here. Um everybody's been uh showing up to work, great attitude, you know, willing to work, do everything uh that we can, man, to be in great position and uh everybody been locking in on the game plan and you know, fans been showing up and showing out, and I think that we've been feeding off of them, man. So it's been a great thing. And so what does Jake Browning have that, you know, you would think somebody who has never really started in the NFL uh, would have? Yeah, man. Um, I think just Jake's attitude. Um, one thing about him, I feel like he's all – well, I've known him since we've been in high school. So um, one thing I've known about him, he definitely – uh, throws the ball, throws a great ball. And I think that, you know, he's very definitely confident in his running backs and his linemen. And um, he also trusts his receivers, obviously, as we all see. Um, I think that, you know, he has a total package in terms of what we need for him to be in order for us to be successful. And um, I think he's been mastering that, you know, to the best that he could. All right. Looks like I, I found a storyline I'd like to um, flesh out a little bit here. So when's the first time you met Jake Browning? Joe Mixon. Um, I think my first time, my first time actually meeting Jake might have been when he came here uh, about maybe two years ago. Okay. But I've known, but I've known of him since high school. I mean, he was probably about an hour out from me um, when we were in high school together. Well, I mean, and that's we were talking to Jordan Palmer uh, a few weeks ago when Burrow went down and Jake went in. He's yeah. been working with Jake for a while, and he's like. Anybody who thinks that he might shrink in this spotlight, you know, hey, he he was a four-year starter in college and threw 91 touchdown passes in high school is what he was exactly. saying. Exactly. And so did you – so you knew of Jake Browning in high school? Oh, yeah, no doubt, man. And, you know, he says the same thing. And, um, you know, two of my best friends, um, one actually um, is on a, a roster for the Bears right now. They played against him um, – in high school and they were like man like that might have been the best quarterback that they faced you know um in high school and they went to a really good high school where i'm at so uh you know like i said i've, I've known about him uh, my dad even told me told me about him uh when i was in high school and then also um you know as soon as burrow went down and my dad actually seen him play a few times live in high school and uh he got nothing but great things to say about jake and so what's he like in the huddle um, definitely, uh, I think he's very calm, cool, and collected. He definitely um, takes the huddle as is his, as he should. And I feel like, you know, when he, you know, when called on a big play, I think that, you know, I don't see no pan, I don't see no panic in him. And I definitely feel like um, the guy is definitely ready to deliver in a big moment. And um, you know, as of lately, he has. Uh, unless his thumb cramps up, right, Joe? What was that about? <laughs> right, right, exactly. How much <laughs> crap have you given him this week for a, cr- a thumb cramp? You know, I ain't, I ain't really give him too much, but you know what? Right when we get done, I'm definitely going to the locker room. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, uh, trust me, I saw that. I'm like, come on, really? Because he was holding a throwing hand. I'm like, you can't have two quarterbacks doing that. Were you thinking no, that literally. too? Were you thinking that I too? I mean, when, when, you know, I seen him grabbing his hand, I'm like, Damn, I wonder what could I like what actually happened? Like, did he get hit? But I didn't see him. And all of a sudden, they were like, Oh, we need IV. We need I'm like, is he cramping? And it was like, Yeah. I'm like, oh man, that's crazy. I mean, thank goodness for that. I ain't never seen it though. I never seen it either. I thought <laughs> I, I thought oh, here's a, he's going in for an MRI or an X ray or something, <laughs> and then he's probable to return. And they said that his thumb was cramping. And I'm like, Okay, I I'm fifty four, so I shouldn't say anything, but my gosh, I mean, it, it looked uh, it looked pretty bad at the time. One last question for you on on him, not to draw drag you into something, but I will do so. Jamar yeah, Chase, your colleague, uh, was asked the difference between Joe Burrow and Jake Browning. Have you heard the answer to this question yet? Have you heard this? Um, for me, no. Oh, no hold on a second. Have you heard what Jamar said? Have you heard what Jamar said? No. All right, let me read it to you. Quote: Jake's more playful than Burrow. Jake's going to smile with you. Joe's just going to walk past and look at you and keep going. He's just not going to smile all the time. Joe is more tunnel vision than Jake. 
If I can describe the difference, Joe comes to work in a suit and tie. Jake comes to work in a suit with no tie. What do you think? Um, I would think Jake's more of a a golf dresser, if that makes sense. Um, you know, Jake comes in, he got his, uh, you know, mainly like in the summertime. You know, as of lately, I've seen him like in the same type of attire, but with a jacket. Mm-hmm. But mainly, you know, he, he he usually dresses up like that. But, I mean, to me, I mean, it works for him. So that's all that really matters. What about the tunnel vision part of it? What about that? Um, Jake is definitely, uh, I think Jake is definitely more outgoing than Joe. But I definitely think that Joe is, uh, as long as I feel like you talking to him more times than likely, like, He's going to interact with you. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.